So if you're gonna kick up fuss about H&M, at least they're having to people are wearing these designers, etc. But you're not. Don't be a hypocrite to it. Do you understand that? Like, Welcome back to Ladies Night right here on Urban Extra with me, Edelyn, and I've got some wonderful guests, the hosts of Saturday's Hip Hop Lockdown right here on Urban Extra every Saturday at, at 7, at seven till midnight. Till midnight. It's, it's the place to be on a Saturday. Come on, guys. Check this out, please. I've been looking for this for ages. Ladies Night will be commencing in the next Two minutes. It was better than, hi, welcome to Ladies Night. And they're like, what the fuck happened there? <laughs> oh, how are you? Has the voice come through? This is what the startup of a radio station is about. Yes, welcome back, welcome back. Woo! We just had to take a moment. Yeah. Take a sip of our rosé. Yes. Yes. Because yeah. it's ladies' night. It wouldn't be ladies' night without rosé. Like it wouldn't be ladies' night without wine, right? Oh. I love ladies' night. Thanks for having me. Ooh. Even after this whole palava, you still love ladies' night. You know why? Because you ladies are still smiling. Oh. And that is genuine. That's why you need to come on. There's no better night than a ladies' night. You know when you get with your girls, like it's the best time. I'm and that's the feeling I'm trying to bring to every show. That's oh, the that's feeling. Good. That is good. Oh, okay, so it's time to get down to some hot topics. So we're just gonna talk about the important stuff that's been happening lately. Um let's just start, okay. I wasn't going to talk about this. I'm not going to talk about this. However, it's just because the mum responded, I feel like I have to speak about it. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm talking about this H&M ad that has got the world going crazy. Or should I say? Yeah, the cheeky monkey ad. So for y'all that for y'all for y'all that been living underneath a rock or something, what has happened is. H&M um, published a photo of a young black boy wearing a jumper that said the coolest monkey in the jungle. Oh, uh, you know, anybody would see that and be like, hmm, are we sure we should be doing this? Like, hmm, are you sure this is cool? Like, anyone would see this and be like, hmm, like, there's a joke there that might not be, you know, that might hurt people. So what happened? Like, what happened to allow these people to do this? What happened? Well, can I say something? Because people are kicking up fuss, and obviously it's something to put fuss about. But if you look at brands like Timber and the Timberland brand, a lot of people know what it represents, obviously. No, please, tell yeah, me. Yeah, you don't do this. Me no, 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 we talk about Prada. Prada don't have African, Caribbean, African American models. Yeah. But people still wear them. So if you're going to kick up fuss about H and M, at least they're having people are wearing okay. these designers, etc. But you're not. Don't be a hypocrite to it. Yeah. It's not one rule for one and one for the other. I think that um, a lot, not a lot of thought was in it. It was insensitive. Yeah. I think from the company. One thing also I didn't really like is it took them two days to make an apology. Yeah, which I thought was kind of unacceptable. Yeah. Um, I used to shop in H&M. I don't think I'm going to be shopping in there. For real? For real. For real. Kind of, for real. You know, you know, for real. because you know, you hear people say, I don't think I'm going to shop there anymore. I'm never going there anymore. And then they kind of do. But you know, I'm a realist. Yeah. So you do. No. It, from what it, I know of you, it, yeah, you do see that. Like, yeah. So. so I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's not my thoughts on it. So it's just a bit sticky. But then again, I've heard, like I said, Diddy has offered. Um, the child of a child's parents a million pound modeling mm. contract for Sean John. These parents, okay, well these are the parents that said, let me just get my notes out because uh -oh. I came prepared. The notes. These so are the parents, so the mother said that the outpour was unnecessary. 
the outpour for her son was unnecessary. He's an idiot, though, man. Okay, cool. But then why, why would you say that? Because okay, cool. I would say that I do know in any modeling or acting or anything, mm. any minor has to be accompanied by their guardian. Mm. So the day that they would have fit him up in wardrobe with that jumper, the mother would have seen it. Of course. So she still sent the child in front of the photographer to take it. Now, mind you, I'm not trying to justify anything because at the end of the day, that would not have been the only thing he would have shot in that day. That yeah. would have been the only no, thing that he loved. Now, what I can say is that there is somebody at the top of H&M, yeah, that is a director or CEO or, or, or director of sales. Yeah. Which thought this would marketing. be a good joke. It's yes, cool. someone in marketing thought this was a good joke. They thought they'd get away with it. Also, if oh, you can see over this Christmas period, I have seen more mixed uh, couple relationships mm. in advertising for this Christmas. Yeah. So at the same time, I why wouldn't that. some person who is in charge of marketing slash advertising watching all this through Christmas and go, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to make my own joke. Since they want to see more people in of color in advertising, I'll put them in advertising, but this is how I'm going to do it. Now look, I don't care much about the whole racism thing. We can say it's racist, but here in this country, the only time I heard someone getting upset about there being racism is on the football pitch. Yeah. People yeah. throwing bananas on the field, talking about go home monkey. This and I night. think that's where that comes from. That's yeah. where the pain of, you know, the outpour comes from. Yes. I think even one of my good friends said that. Like, there's there were times where people were throwing bananas at football pitches, like right. calling people monkeys. So you can't you can't make that joke. I mean if they if they used to call, you know, let's just say white people pandas you're not gonna put him in a top that says you're not gonna do it like the, the cheeky mm. panda like you're not gonna do it because you would understand that pain and that, i think that's the problem it's ignorance they don't understand the pain yeah but just as funny in any justification that they would say i would still struggle to say well why don't you give the little black kid a, a, a hoodie that says king of the jungle exactly. Yeah. See, you would you wouldn't do that, even though the the most jungle that we have on the whole world is going to be in Africa. But you wouldn't call the African man the king of the jungle. Yeah. I just think, especially with a lot of social issues that's going on, we're talking about American, my American friend. You know, yes. The police, etc., killing black yes. people. It's very high in in society right now. So you have is. to be conscious of these things. Do you understand? Yes. So, coming from a company perspective. I don't think that obviously through quality control, as a CEO, if that was me running that business, there's things and measures I would have went through. For example, I recently filmed for a channel on TV, I'm not going to disclose because I signed a legal document. Oh, yeah, okay. I just, just uh, um, yeah. our show was about basically race, etc. And now they're not going to release this documentary because of their afraid of the backlash. They might say it might offend people in England. And this is one of the top, it's in the top five channels, one, one to five, one, one to five okay. channels, etc. I, can, I, I already think I know which yeah, one you know, is something yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. even with that, they're conscious of, do you understand, mm. how the, the UK public yeah. will perceive it. Now, as a big organisation as H&M, come on, they're surely measures you have to go through. But that's the thing, maybe, you know, maybe the UK know how to handle the UK and, yeah. you know, not that it, was, it wasn't just the UK, I mean, it was all around the world, yeah. but this was, it's a Swiss company, isn't it? Yeah, that's And I think the, the family are Swiss as well. Really? I worked for like two days and I had to come out. Oh, the inside out, we got inside out in here. Inside but out. I also had a very good comment from a very smart individual. No different than we have this little pizza issue with, uh, what was that, Papa John's or whoever it was? Oh, yeah, yeah. What if this is H and M trying to show to their uh, their majority counterparts that you can come and shop at us because we don't really care? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. No, maybe. I mean, that is kind of that kind of um, no, treat them no. mean, keep them keen, that kind of thing. This is the kind of culture we have. look. Mm -hmm. um, we got Brexit because of this type of idea. We got yes. Donald Trump because of this type of idea. The pizza company, they, they, they completely yeah. changed their whole uh, market. Why yeah. wouldn't H&M do the same thing? Yeah. No, it's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. I, I would say that all black people could stop going to H&M and exactly. that wouldn't put H&M out of business. No. And I also feel that, um, you know, 
people have to reinvent themselves. Not even people, brands, they try and reinvent themselves. And although this was such an outrage, this is a, okay, they this highlighted, is, they're in the news. Reinvent themselves, but have they not done any market research? I think sometimes it's about taking a risk and I think sometimes, do you know what I mean, like sometimes it's that risk, that feeling, it's like yeah, oh, we shouldn't, so maybe we should. Yeah, definitely, you still have to do like risk management, when yeah. you're running a company, risk management, these are key things that yeah. are, make up businesses, so I'm going to go and do market research, I want to know what the customers want, people buy my product, what do you want? And I'm not going to specifically do it to like maybe one race, I'm going to go different areas, different races, so I get that overview view of what the business needs. All right, so let me ask you this question. Do you feel that what H&M has done will hurt them in any sort of way? No. I think it's bringing them more publicity. There yeah. we go. And I, and I believe that that's the only reason that they did it. I believe that they knew what they were doing and, you know, I think they succeeded, unfortunately. No, they did. I just don't know their motives. Is, is, is there motives to bring in more of their um, major community here? Mm. Or is their motive to, um, I don't know, remove themselves from a certain part of the market? What is their motive for doing exactly. something like to that? To be in the news, to I'm, be out there, to sure. be on every newspaper, yeah. to be spoken mm. about on every radio station, to be on every channel for at least a week yeah. and have that But we're saying that with that, but they've lost two contracts so with what's his my man yeah, the weekend um, and yeah, the g easy mm. oh okay because mm. he was mm. look, they both pulled out because of that so okay. remember they come with a lot of following as well gg has got that big tune with cardi b and all that from right. yeah. yeah. from this we are broadcasting from a phone it's 2018. anyway look into our show saturday the first show is this saturday yeah. Saturday Hip Hop Lockdown. Make sure you tune in at UrbanExtraRadio.com if yes. you're into that hip hop, man. Listen, we've got the voice straight from America. <laughs> straight from Hell America. Yeah. And we are going to put it down UK style with my girl Shin Remy. You already know. Yeah. yeah.